الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum greetings day 2 I just need to make a base for the table saw add wheels uh, and then finish the table up by adding the top plates so today's day starts with uh, building the base for the table saw so I take a piece of wood rip it in half and those two pieces will become the base of my table saw so I take the measurements by keeping the table saw there, then remove the table saw, clamp the pieces, find two scrap pieces of plywood, cut them on my mitre saw and just add them with old school nail and hammer. I love nailing and hammering things while woodworking. So the base is done, the next step was to build the support for the middle and for that I took other two pieces and uh, install them in the middle of the base. I realized I cut them short, so slightly short, so I used a piece of plywood in between to make uh, them fit right. I thought about going with uh, pocket holes, but I realized that my pocket hole jig wasn't that accurate, so I just went with the straight screws driven into the wood pieces from top and bottom. And that actually did the job very well and held the pieces together and made the table stronger from the midsection. I then add the base that I built using the clamps and raised it up to where the table saw would be. I brought the table saw in, took my measurements, then cut four pieces of wood to make the pillars for the base, added them. I could actually add the base straight with the screws from the left side on each uh, part uh, each pillar of the table exa exactly but I wanted it to be much more strong uh, in fact so I just built one little uh, pillar for each side and screwed them in and put the uh, base on top of it. It was time for kids to come in so I sent everything and plain everything and now it was time to add wheels um, after making sure the area was nice and smooth my kids helped me mark the places and holes for the wheels and we went ahead drilled the hole and added each and every wheel to each side of the table and that made the table mobile the wheels are nice very good quality and I got them very cheap they are doing a very good job on this table awesome the wheels are installed and it moves really nice and free though there's a lot of dust down there mm -hmm. but still it moves nice and free hey if we just put an electric engine on this one this will become our car <laughs> electric car right and so strong everything was ready it was time to sand the areas that were missed before so i send every part of the table nicely then add the base for the table saw properly using screws I drilled holes I put in screws and make it nice and strong for table saw to sit on it obviously I have to take consideration of vibrations the table saw will make in the long run and that is why I went with the pillars so we cleaned up the mess all the tools my kids helped me a lot to put the tools back and arrange them nicely and we also colored the table that same evening now you can see the table has been colored now I'm cutting another piece of wood and I need this to be ripped into three parts so that I can build a base for plywood to sit on top and be very flushed with the table saw top so three pieces were cut and making them square and nice and after that I just had to drill some holes and drive some screws in to make them nice and strong. Now I should have colored them but I thought it's going to be under the uh, plywood so it wasn't necessary to color these three pieces. The exposed parts can be colored later. I have to 
leave some space for the fence of table saw to move around. Apart from that, this goes really nice and straight here. Now that the plywood was cut accordingly, I go ahead and drill holes. I went with many many holes because I had too many screws sitting there and I wanted this part to be very very strong. So I drill holes and after that I go with a countersink drill and countersink all the holes because I did not want any screws to actually poke out of this area. This has to be very very smooth area because this is going to be the outfeed table. After that I use my new favorite cheap jig to cut another piece of plywood. This is the same thing that came out of the 100% pallet wood table that we salvaged from and this one will go and form the base level. Uh, after that, after this cutting, I went ahead with my jigsaw. I measured the uh, thickness uh, measurements of each leg and I used jigsaw to cut those squares it actually turned out to fit really nice. Fits down there, all I needed to do was drive some screws in it and make it permanent and color it after that, which I did. All right, I will actually call it done because my table saw is fit and it works. I tested it. Obviously, I cut something today. The top plywood is fixed bottom plywood is fixed obviously now table moves nice and good and I can move it around anywhere I want so now the rest of the stuff will be just to add some mods nothing more than that I was thinking uh, instead of using uh, you know dust collector I just I just connect the outlet of uh, the table saw where the dust comes out and connect it using a PVC pipe to a box and it will always collect dust for me uh, anyway this is a local made saw even if I attach a dust collector there's a lot of dust coming from top from inside left and right I have no idea how did they actually build it I'm happy with the performance of this table saw but not happy with how the dust collection works on this. It's, there's no dust collection on this, it just spreads the dust all around. So to say I have to probably remove this bottom plate because there's dust, lots of dust down there or I have to do something about that. Anyway, for now I'm going to use it this way and whenever needed I will clean uh, the dust manually. Next obviously I can cover this this and that corner completely and build a little bit more and add one more plywood down there this will become and uh, right here I can add a small door and it will become a storage area under the table so because there's a lot of space this will become a storage area and it will be very very spacious for me to store things down there I really need a lot of storage in this cramped area so alhamdulillah this table is done now I need to I know it's a lot of work to do I need to clean up the mess clean all the dust arrange all the wood and put this table at the right side so you can see how my and arrange everything else so that my workshop will have more space so thank you very much for watching this episode of uh, building strong work table with wheels and table saw built in estate Stay tuned for more DIY woodworking videos coming your way very soon. Obviously, now, now that this project is done, I am going to start working on projects that are not workshop projects. Projects that I will use at my house. For instance, building a coffee table, that's my next project, a play area for kids, and many more. And I'm also starting to work on raisin art. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way on DIY Woodworking TV. Support us by subscribing and liking and sharing our work. Okay, table is completed. And now you can see that I really have got space. So, it's my shelf, the first one that I built, then the second one with the cabinets, and the third project looking even better, my shelf.